We were needing a few items for our laundry room makeover and Jamie went to Ikea by herself, which is always interesting and fun to see what she brings home. It's good and bad. It's good because I can always get all the things I need and bad because it usually costs a little bit more when I'm by myself. I, for one, am one of those people like if I think I'm gonna need it in the future, I'm just gonna buy it now because I'd rather make one trip for multiple projects and Zeb's like, let's just buy what we need now. So Zeb really shouldn't leave me alone in Ikea. I'm finding new pillows, new bedding, all kinds of good stuff. I'm always like the little voice in the background. Are you sure you need that? Is that really gonna look good? It's gonna look great. What do you, or, or sometimes I'll give her the, what are you gonna do with that? <laughs> you don't know my life. So this haul is three different projects. I have some stuff that I just bought to update the house and finish the basement downstairs. I never quite finished the pillow situation. I was gonna have Mariah sew some, decided to just do Ikea. Some of the stuff is for the laundry room. And then I also started pre-buying for my project for the kids' bathroom downstairs, which I'm hoping to get finished in the next few weeks. Pre-buy. Pre-buy. <laughs> that means buy ahead. Let's dive in and see what everything is here. So this is a bar. <laughs> it's a Fintorp. I'm sure they had it set up nice and neat at Ikea on display and it looked good there, but I can't see it right now. We already have two of those. They're behind us on the wall. Oh, they're those bars yeah. with the hooks. Yeah. It's oh, okay. okay. The hooks. It's the Fintorp system. It's a system. Yeah, we're gonna have the bar with these and then the hooks, and then I'll show you the flowers that are going inside. This is gonna go in the laundry room. Okay. Uh, there's no natural light, so we ain't doing any real flowers in there, but I wanted some flowers. See, I think they're in that basket over there. I got five of these things. Well, I don't know what flowers they are. So these are just called... Uh, the fe feca? It feca. means fake. It means fake in Swedish. I only know that because one of my YouTube followers told me. Just using a French cleat to hang this and just slides right on there. And if you don't have it quite centered, you can kind of slide it to where you need it to be if you're close. So what do you think that is? This looks like a curtain rod of some sort. Because what did your son do to the curtain rod in the basement? Oh, it's not good. It's not is good. Is this going to be long enough? Yeah, it expands. How, how wide? Wide enough. I don't think that's gonna handle that width. It's a, it, it is, it's 79 inches. I think we need about 90 inches. It's a wide bathroom. Well, if it doesn't, I'll return it. All right, what is this fluffy thing here? That's, oh, I forgot there's a fourth project. A fourth this is for, project? This is, this is for our bedroom refresh. I had no idea that a bedroom refresh was happening. It's happening, it's going down. I bought that because I bought something else for the bedroom and then that was like a domino effect, you know? Like if you give a mouse a cookie. This is the Ophelia, not to be confused with Odilia. Which is my daughter's name. It's white and it was like 20 bucks and it's cute. Okay, so. We got some muscat planters, I'm guessing is what these are. Uh, yes, you know those trees we have down in the basement that have no planters? Oh yeah, yeah. That's for them. Okay. And I don't know if I'm gonna keep them or sell them in the shop, but they needed a planter, so. So these are these are terracotta that they've put some sort of enamel glaze. on or gl glaze. There you go. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, and they're inexpensive, so that's what those are for. These are for pillows, I'm guessing. Yeah. So I got I got a girly because I'm going to use one of our JRV stencils on this to make a summer pillow. This is for the couch. It's going to go like right here. I've got this girly pillow sham from Ikea that Jamie picked up and I'm going to be stenciling it with one of our JRV grain sack stencils. I'm going to slip some cardboard in here so I don't get any transfer to the other side of the sham. And just kind of center this and some DIY in old school. It's a nice dark gray, it kind of leans a little bit blue in certain lights, but it's going to work great for this. 
I'm also using the Paint Pixie five cent flat top brush. It gets down in these details. It works great on fabric. We usually use the little C for stenciling, but on fabric, we find that these little flat top Paint Pixie brushes are awesome for getting down in the detail. You can pick this Kroger stencil up at jamierayvintage.com. So I'm gonna use a limb-free cloth and an iron set at the temperature that is appropriate for my fabric. You could probably go ahead and do it without the limb-free cloth, but I always feel like it's a little bit safer to do that so that way you don't smear any of the paint while you're heat setting it. I'm heat setting it so it's more durable and the paint will adhere properly. I would probably suggest waiting about 30 days before you wash it. The long skinny ones are gonna go on the chairs and then this is for the couch. Do you remember what all of this cost? No, okay, you'll have to go on the bank account. Probably best not to discuss it and okay. just, just ignore it, you know, just hide it under, hide it in the back of the closet. I got two of these hooks. They are, one pair is, good. well, it's just one hook. One hook's going in the laundry room um, to put a, like something to dry your hands on because we have a sink and the other one's going to go in the kid's bathroom because we don't have anywhere to put a hand towel. Those hooks are really cheap. They're like two bucks. They're my favorite. And then there's a basket because every laundry room needs a pretty basket. What's gonna go in this basket? Socks. The, this is gonna be the dead sock basket. Yeah, because when they go in the drawers, they never come out. So this is the sock basket. When I photo and stage and everything, you'll probably have some pretty towels rolled up. It's, but it's the tank lard. The reality is it's gonna be the sock basket, but you know, socks, <laughs> towels, whatever. Can't go to Ikea without your cleaning supplies. This is so there is a dust broom in the basement so they can dust broom. Oh, Good oh idea. And what do you think that's for? Um, I don't know, scrubbing clothes, paint out of yeah. clothes. Yeah, we don't have a scrub brush down there and that's a pretty new color. Hit it with some spray and wash. Yeah, for sure. Okay, next. How many pillowcase things did you get? Well, some are for the basement, some are for our pair. This is why you can't go to Ikea alone. There's another one of these in there somewhere. We gotta just learn to rotate. You know, you buy one set, and then you take a picture of it on this couch, and then you take those pillows to the basement, you take a picture of them on that couch, and it feels like you've got a lot of pillows. Nobody does that. We should start. Okay, so I, these are new with the buttons on them, and these are all, this is also, they were all new. Ikea hasn't had them before. What are their names? We have the Christiane and the Ingalil. And these are going on the basement couch, and I have two of these and two of these. I got the Ursula's. They have little ties on them. Oh, this must be a shower curtain. It is a shower curtain. And don't worry, it's not all pink and blue. It's, or pink and gray. It's pink and gray and blue, see? So it's like girl and boy because it's a shared bathroom. I see. Yeah. I see. So the Bowman. You're not gonna get to see these up for a while, so. In the inner end. Yeah, the bathroom project's probably have to, happening after May. Like, it probably won't even make it in this month. What? Yeah. No. We oh, didn't. those are more basement ones. This is a never-ending bag of stuff. That is for our bedroom. It was on sale, $24.99 for a duvet cover and two shams. And the that goes with the- rose. That one goes with the Ophelia. I thought it looked very like summery. I'm probably gonna go to Hobby Lobby and get some lemon things to add some yellow in. So it's summertime and I'm cutting down the pillows. And I know this probably looks like a lot, but it really is about five less pillows than I normally have on the bed. I'm just gonna go three deep with the king size pillows with the last one being the Ikea sham that we just bought. And then I'll throw in a couple throw pillows and done. And then I'll put the throw blanket on the end of the bed. It's stripey fabric. You like stripey? Yeah. It's very um, prison, prison pajama chic. <laughs> It'll make me feel tall, the stripes are vertical. All right, two soap dispensers, Balungen. Balungen, Balungen, Balungen. Is that I'm gonna Balungen? open it up so they can actually see it. Yeah, pull it up. Um, one is for the laundry room, because oh, I want to cool. make a hand washing station in there, because inevitably sometimes the kids have sticky hands down there even though they shouldn't eat down there. So that's gonna go down there. And then I bought a second one for the kids' bathroom in the basement because I liked it so much. I like the clear glass with the nice like metal base and then you can put, I'll just put dish soap in there. No Ikea haul is complete without the Istad. You gotta get some baggies. Those baggies are the best. 
they're the right sizes and they're not like Ziploc, so they give you a little bit more. And there's one more thing oh. I bought you. Hopefully we get this together for the laundry room in time for the reveal on that. It's time to put this Gruntal together. Is that how it's pronounced? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm not using the plastic thing that goes on the top. I don't, I don't know what it's for. Oh, it has like a plastic top. Oh, it's an organizer. Yeah, but I don't need that in the okay. laundry room. I want it open. All right. That's Seb. He's gonna follow the directions. Seb's happy to. So this nifty little cart slides in right here and I've got to fix some stuff back here behind the dryer so that these are flush and then they'll be nice and even and that'll hang out there and hold all kinds of soaps and cool stuff like that. Seb was gonna build something, but I think this was like $39.95 and I thought for that price, it's better to buy it than to have you build something because yeah. it would cost the same plus time. And this is metal, so it's kind of a fun farmhouse vibe. And as oh, it's it is, metal, all yeah, right. It's metal on wheels. Cool, so we can pull it out and clean underneath. Mm. I'm, I'm sure we'll do that all the time where we have a very clean laundry room. That's how we roll. Thanks for watching this Ikea haul. We'll include some more pictures at the end of this video so you can see how we use all of these items. Comment below with any questions that you have. Give us... <laughs> Smell the fake flower. <laughs> Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more... The Eye Hit the subscribe button.